So, in this video, I'm going to talk to you all about downstream injectors and troubleshooting problems you will have. Not when you have them, you will have them. So, with that being said, I'm Jason Guyman. I'm here to help you grow your business, be successful, and to change your life. So, downstream injectors. Downstream injectors are an awesome thing. They allow us to pressure wash with low pressure and to apply soap downstream from the pump because we do not want our chemicals going through the pump. So that is why we use a downstream injector. With this downstream injector, there is some things that go wrong with them. Inside this right here, this little barb, you can actually take this off and there's a little ball and spring in there. With that little ball and spring in there, um, we do use sodium hypochlorite or bleach. So it will corrode that spring if we don't keep that cleaned out. And even if we do keep it cleaned out, it will eventually fail. So I am going to give you some very simple things that we can do to see what is causing the problem. And there's a lot of things that we may think this is bad, but this may not be what's bad. It might be something um, else that is bad. So the very first thing we do is, as you can see a picture here, is I always have quick connects on my on each end of this. And the reason why I do that for is, is so that if I have an issue, I can just quick connect this out, change it out, and I'm right back pressure washing. Five minutes or less, I'm right back to pressure washing. So, the very first thing that can make these not work is you, you will see an arrow on this injector right there. I hope you can. We want to make sure that we put our male and our female plugs, our coupler plug and our um, quick connect coupler on here the, the right way because if we put this in backwards It will not work and this can be an issue of why it will not work so We have some plastic tubing that goes on here and It just slides on there and that's all it does Well, this plastic tubing does work great this plastic tubing can make this downstream injector not work. So the very first thing I always do to test my injector to see if it's working is, is I take off the rubber hose here and I go get me my pressure washer gun and I make sure that I have a whole J-rod in there that is in my J-rod to make sure that I'm flowing and I pull the trigger. And I want to make sure that that is sucking. It will suck your finger if it's working right. If it's still not sucking, don't just think that it could be this bad right here. Because it could be something else. And I've seen a lot this year in 2019 that have been issues. Is the guns. If these guns don't open all the way up, will cause this not to work. So what I always tell people, or my uh, people that always ask, is now turn our pressure on and see if it sucks. I've had several guns that have not been working, especially if they're low flow guns. If Like this is a 12 gallon a minute gun, four or five gallon a minute pressure washer. If we have a lower gun, that can cause it not to work. So one way to do it is, like I say, pull that hose off and see if it's sucking. If it's sucking, then we know we got a problem elsewhere, and I'll get to that. Sometimes when we pull the trigger or we take it off, it still won't suck. And this usually happens the very first thing in the morning, when the very first time we get started up. What you can do is, is take you a little a pick and turn the pressure washer, it, the pressure washer's running on this, and you're going to open that ball valve so it's just flowing water. And what I do is, is I take me a pick or a nail or something, and I'll shove down in there and hit that ball and unseat that ball. And once that ball is unseated, it'll start, it'll start working all the time. 
So a pick, I've used a nail. Try not to use a stick. It breaks off down in there, and then it's kind of, you know, you're taking it all apart anyway. So um, uh, a pick works really good. I've also, like I said, I use a nail, a screw, something like that. Just something that'll fit down into that hole to unseat that ball enough for this thing will start flowing and sucking your finger. All right. Another issue we can have, and I've had this issue before, and my guy's like, you won't suck, it won't suck. I changed the injector out, it still won't suck. But what they didn't look at is see that they have pushed, put a heavy bucket on here or put something or it's ran behind the tank and this line has slid down behind the tank and it's pinched it off. And if it's pinched off, it's still not going to suck. So a lot of times I have all my tanks run into my soap tank and it runs through something like this and it'll have a bulkhead fitting and then it'll have a plastic tube. So what I do is, is I take my hose off here is my next part of troubleshooting and put my finger on it and see if it start if it's still sucking. If it's not sucking, then maybe my hose has got burnt and it's got a hole in it. Maybe it's gotten crushed and it's not working. Sometimes I had one that was it was kind of in the sun and it was going over the bed of the truck and it actually just over time um, with the heat it just sucked it shut. So we want to make sure that our suction hose from our downstream injector to our um, our tank is good. Now I've ran them for about um, about 10 to 15 feet, maybe even a little bit longer. Try not to go too much longer than that um, from the injector side to my tank. So it does. So the next problem can be so this goes through a bulkhead fitting usually, and this gets on here. If we a lot of times they put something on there, they can break this here. Just remember, this is sodium hypochloride, pull shock, chlorine, whatever you want to call it, and it's very corrosive. It will actually break down these fittings with the sun and the heat and everything. Um, they will crack. They'll crack right here. They will break right here. This right here will crack. Um, um, I've had it where it screws into my bulkhead fitting crack. Sometimes just riding down the road, they'll come undone. And if they come, all it takes is just a very bitty little leak. You won't even know it. And the way I always test it is, not to say this is the right way to test it, but what I'll do is, is I'll go to my other end here and I'll pull this end off and I'll actually blow into it. And if you don't get, if you hear air coming out, then you know you got a problem somewhere, whether it's in here, there, um, the whole, you know, wherever it is. Um, if you blow into it and you can hear air, it won't suck. So with that, um, the only other way I do this too sometimes is if, if I'm doing the poor man method or if you don't have a tank of just sodium hypochloride bleach, what you can do is, is the bucket method. You pre-mix everything down in your bucket, and you want to get you a nice little piece of pipe. This is actually a little long, and you just slide that hose down in there, out the bottom, like so, and then we can put this in our bucket, because if we don't put that in our bucket and we do this, this thing will curl up in our bucket, and it won't pull all our soap. So this is the way that you can make sure that it pulls all your soap, is this way right here, and do that. And I've actually done it where this is here, instead of taking the chance of this not sealing or this not sealing, this not sealing, is just slide this in through my thing and down, and then slide this even in a, a big tank, and that way I know that I'm good chance that that's always gonna be. The only issue I've had with that is that sometimes this hose sitting in bleach will deteriorate. So that's the only reason why I do like to do that. So, just to refresh and make sure you know, you know, make sure that you have it going the right way. Unplug it. Make sure 
that you're sucking. Make sure that our gun is not restricting it. Make sure you're using the right tip and not a high pressure tip because if you're using a high pressure tip, it will not work. And that's it. These things are 15, 20 bucks and they work amazing. Um, you know, um, in this video, in my next video, I will show you how I make these last a little bit longer in my next video. And I'll see you in my next video.